Welcome to another episode of Hack Naked TV, recorded January 19th, 2016. I'm your host, Aaron Lyons, and today I'm going to be talking about some DDoSs over the holidays, Fortigate Backdoor, uh, the next big threat to cybersecurity, Shodan, uh, Privilege Escalation in Ubuntu, and more. This episode is brought to you by Black Hills Information Security, the leaders in pen testing and active defense. Email consulting at blackhillsinfosec.com to request a quote today. And by Cyberary, get the latest hacking and security training from cyberary.it. Visit hacknaked.tv forward slash cyberary for a referral link. Oh, messed that one up, didn't I? So, Diane. Distributed denial of service attacks over the holidays. There's two big ones. First, we'll start with Linode. They were brought to their knees for about 10 days. Uh, it started Christmas Day, and it went on for about another 10 days. They confirmed it resolved on January 13th. So you can do the math there. Um, so it started with an uh, uh, attack of... Um, against their uh, line node manager and websites, and then propagated to their DNS servers, and then to their network infrastructure. So it looked like the attackers, as Linode uh, countered one, uh, one attack, moved to attack a different part of their infrastructure. Um, they said that there was over 30 significant attacks during that period, um, and they, their hosted DNS and Atlanta data center were the last parts of their infrastructure to come back online. They've also disabled AXFers for the foreseeable future. So if you're on Line Node and you use um, AXFers, you're going to want to find a different DNS provider to give you that functionality. Um, part of their um, mitigation that they use is that they blocked, they use BBG communities to block large portions of Asia Pacific, the Middle East, South America, and other parts of the world, pretty much leaving just US and European uh, traffic able to reach uh, Linode. Um, doesn't seem great if you use Linode and you cater to a worldwide audience. Um, so another thing you might want to think about migrating to off of Linode, you know, it's not really looking good for them so far. Um, so during this uh, distributed denial service, there was they found after the fact that there were three unauthorized uh, logins uh, for three log three accounts were unauthorized had unauthorized logins during the attack. I'll get that right one of these times. Um, and then credentials were found on a external machine. Um, so, given that information, Linode says it's possible that user info, usernames, emails, uh, securely hatched passwords, and encrypted two-factor seeds uh, were compromised. Given that, they've forced a password reset for all of their users. So, if you use Linode, you need to go out and reset your password. You can find out more on the status page from Linode, and we'll have that link in our show notes along with a link to an uh, article from the register, which does a pretty good job covering it. Also over the weekend, uh, BBC was attacked on New Year's uh, with a denial of service. Um, the group that claimed responsibility for this is the New World Hacking Group. Uh, they claimed it was a test of their capabilities. Um, BBC mig uh, mitigated this by migrating their main site to Akamai, um, but not all of their sites were migrated. Uh, News.bbc and search.bbc still experienced issues for four days until everything was migrated back. Uh, recent, recently, a backdoor was found in Fortigate. Uh, it affects versions 4.x all the way up through 5.0.7. So if you're running any of those older versions, you should upgrade now. Um, Fortigate has released a patched version. They suggest upgrading to, I believe, 5.11. They released a statement on their blog. They say it's not a backdoor, but a management authentication issue. Um, if it allows unauthorized uh, people to gain unauthenticated access to your device, I'm pretty sure that's the definition of a backdoor. So we're saying tomato, tomato here, but Let's call, a, uh, call it what it is, and it's a backdoor. 
Uh, also, a uh, privilege escalation was recently found in Ubuntu 14.4 long-term uh, support edition and 15.10. This is a uh, vulnerability in the overlay f FS where a um, there's miss overlay FS is missing some security checks, which allows a SUE ID binary to be created within the user namespace and can be executed to gain root privileges. So if you're running those, uh, those versions of Ubuntu, you're going to want to go out there and patch. Finally, um, well, not finally, we have one more thing after this next sort of short. Checkpoint has listed Shodan as a security threat, and they've re released an advisory warning customers to block Shodan. Uh, they say that uh, Shodan, you know, scans the internet looking for systems on the internet and posts them to uh, be searchable on their site. Um, you know, what if we're going to block Shodan for scanning the internet and providing a searchable database, we should be blocking Bing, Google, Yahoo, and any other search engine out there that can be used to find vulnerabilities because of poorly misconfiguration. You know, this is security through obscurity, and it's ridiculous. Shodan he here isn't the threat. It's companies putting misconfigured systems publicly facing. Blocking Shodan isn't going to stop the attacks. Uh, I don't know what Checkpoint's hoping to, to gain from this, but uh, you know, really, Shodan should be a security tool that companies are using and looking for their IP space in Shodan. Do a search in Shodan. If you're a security, if you're, you know, part of the security group at your company, see if any of your assets are there. If they are, fix them. They've done all the footwork for you and identified it. Don't don't block it. You know, it's not it's not a tool for attackers. It's a tool for the secu security community. It's just ridiculous. Uh, finally, a lot of you probably attended SmooCon over the weekend. Uh, some great talks out there. You can find them all out on. Um, on the internet in various places. One thing we wanted to bring to our listeners is the SmooCon hiring list is out there. Lots of great companies looking for lots of great talent. The link to that list is in our show notes. If you're looking for a job in information security, go there, check it out, send them your resume. That's it for this episode of Hack Naked TV. We'll see you next time.